cake decorators are in the zone. It's like a lot on your feet and it's busy. When it's insane, I just can't explain it. You have to have it here. John Pergantis owns Party Favors in Brookline, one of the buzziest and busiest places around for custom order cakes and cupcakes. Cupcake wise, we probably bake off and frost six to 800 cupcakes a day. Cakes, 70, 80. One Saturday, there was 300 and something orders on a Saturday. It was insane. And we were on time, everything was perfect. Keeping everything flowing is a science here. The cake has to get baked, frosting has to get made, then you frost the cake. Five people touch it before the cake is even decorated. You're only as good as the people you work with, and I've been very blessed for 28 years to work with great people. Brigantis grew up in Brookline and worked at Party Favors as a kid. I went to the Culinary Institute in New York, found my passion when I was 18, 19, and was a pastry chef downtown for like 10 years. After moving back home, Pergantis bought Party Favors in 1994, expanding the bakery and the attached gift store. Today, his 28 employees include his daughter, Nicole. Many of his customers, including Rosalie Wiener, are loyalists. This is the best, and they did my son and daughter-in-law wedding and shower, I can think of nowhere else to go. It's not just tasty, they're beautiful. Making this many goodies requires a lot of preparation. For example, Pergantis and his team make up to 2,000 pounds of buttercream frosting in a week. I mean, the butter bill is more than electric bill sometimes. It's crazy. Despite the long hours, small details can't be overlooked, says Pergantis. The ganache cake's just the way you get the ganache to shine. It's tricky. Crumbs are the enemy. We keep away from the crumbs. Party Favors also gets its fair share of unusual orders. The six foot naked man. We had it in the walk in, and people screamed. I'll never forget it. They thought it was a dead person. A chair cake for a furniture company, extinct creature cakes, sneaker cakes, and then there's the infamous cockroach birthday cake for a 25 year old man. It was a freestanding cockroach. You cut into it, and there was worms and pastry cream and possible pus coming out of the thing. It was, it was great. Every day is different, and when you can wake up every day and be happy to come to work, that's a good thing. Grocery shopping is anything but a chore when veggies look like this. Sienna Farms Farm Stand at the Copley Farmers Market sees brisk business. If customers only knew how much work it takes to grow the perfect produce. The field prep, the cultivation, the planting, a lot of that's pretty nicely mechanized, but then almost everything is still harvested by hand at, at our scale of 45 acres. Chris Kurth, also known as Farmer Chris, owns the Sudbury-based business. I grew up on the farm. My parents were gardeners, not commercial farmers, but they let me start the farm right out of college about 20 years ago. There's beautiful agricultural soils, no rocks in any of our soils, and stuff grows really well. An organic farm primarily growing vegetables, Sienna Farms has a 500-member CSA community. It also supplies local restaurants including Oleana, Sofra, and Sarma, co-owned by Kerr's wife, James Beard award-winning chef, Anna Sortoon. The farm is named after their daughter. Farmer Chris has a patch of land that resembles a quirky sculpture garden. Here, old tools are put to pasture or wait to fulfill their ultimate purpose, such as weeding. If you let one weed go to seed on one year, it produces like thousands, sometimes hundreds of thousands of seeds from one plant. As an organic farm, we just don't use herbicides, so we have to get pretty serious about other ways to efficiently take care of the weed pressure. The war on weeds includes a flame weeder. It's an upside down propane grill, basically, that we need to sear off the, um, the baby weeds. A basket weeder. It basically has these wire baskets that roll through the soil and kind of fluff up the weeds out of existence. And the Excalibur of the bunch, the brand new finger weeder. We've been hearing about this finger weeder from other farmers and everybody kept saying we, they would never go back to farming without one. A total game changer here at Sienna Farms. What could possibly get Farmer Chris so excited? It's these rubber fingers that go literally right around the stem of the crop. It's like hand weeding your crop mechanically. So it saves a ton of labor, it does a super fine job, and we just have like zero weeds on our farm practically. And that means better produce 
for us all. I used to say my favorite thing to do on the farm or in the world was hand weeding carrots because it's zen, it's lovely, it's, it's satisfying. But now my favorite thing is the finger weed. And ironically, I may not have to ever hand weed carrots again. <laughs> And back to party favors, it gets many customized cake requests, including this fun one, a massive red door cake for Talbot's, the clothing company. The doors of the bakery were too small to fit the finished cake, so bakers had to tilt the cake on its side. One person ran out the door, and then they quickly laid the cake horizontally so the whole thing wouldn't fall. Now, after the experience, party favors renovated its doors, making them wide enough to accommodate really big baking. Finally tonight, before food goes to waste, the Daily Table steps in.